197. Which of the following molecules and ions contain polar bonds? And which of the molecules and ions have dipole moments? And then we have TeCl4 2 minus. Okay, so we have to find out if this ion has polar bonds and if it has a dipole moment. Now, especially if they're asking for polarity, if something is polar or nonpolar, the easiest way to go about this is to take a step back and draw out the Lewis structure of what this actually looks like. I know that it's one extra step, but seeing it visually will help you to figure out what's really going on with this molecule. So there's tons of videos on this channel just designated to teaching you how to draw the Lewis structure. So this one will kind of be like a quick inversion. You can always pause the video, write out the Lewis structure for TeCl4 2 minus, and see if your answer matches mine. Okay, let's go for it. So in this case, we have tellurium, Te in the middle, surrounded by the three, actually not the three, the four chlorines, one, two, three, and four. And in this case, I have four single bonds because chlorine has seven valence, so it just needs that one extra bond. Each chlorine will have the six dots around it um, just to get its octet. And then we'll worry about what's going on with tellurium. Tellurium had six uh, electrons in the beginning. It's gaining two, because that's a minus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I can put brackets around this and say two minus. Okie dokie. So now, since we have our Lewis structure, we can clearly see all the bonds. There's four of them. And for each one of these, they all look identical. Each one is a Cl bound to the Te, Cl bound to the Te, Cl bound to the Te, Cl bound to the Te. And that's what you have to do. For figuring out if you have polar bonds, you're just looking at the two elements that are bound with either a single, double, or triple bond. So I'm going to put the Cl on the left side and the Te on the right. Now, when you're trying to find out polar bonds, just know that there has to be an electronegativity difference. And difference just is, you know, a fancy way of saying subtraction. So you're going to take those electronegativity values and subtract them. And if you're in this range from 0.4 to 1.8, you have polar bonds. So Cl, uh, let's see, chlorine is 3.0 on your electronegativity scale and Te is 2.1. Now just know that when you take this subtraction, because it's the difference, um, electronegativities, uh, the difference should never be negative. So always take your positive number and minus it by the lower one. So this will come out to be like 0.9. And 0.9 is in that realm. So since we're in that realm, we know that we have polar bonds. So first part done. Let's just box that off. And now let's move on to the dipole moment. Does this ion, I call it an ion because it has a charge. Does this ion have a dipole moment? Well, dipole moment is just a fancy way for saying that the whole molecule is polar or the whole um, ion is polar. So now we're not looking at the individual bonds but we're looking at the molecule or the ion in this case as a whole. Now this is where the acronym SNAP comes in, S-N-A-P, where if you want a dipole moment, you gotta be polar and key in on this part, polar molecules or polar ions are always asymmetrical. But there's a catch here. There's a quick trick that I could tell you that you can always see a polar uh, bond or a polar molecule from looking at the Lewis structure. Because if your central atom, whoever that is, the one in the middle, if the central atom has lone electrons, the dots, it is automatically polar. So even though it looks symmetrical because you have the four chlorines around it, that tellurium, that central atom has four electrons, it's got two pairs. And I don't need to see any more than that. If you see that your, you know, atom has lone pairs of electrons in the middle, that's going to be a polar ion in this case, because we have the charge 
And because of that, it has a dipole moment. Mo, almost put molecule, moment. Box dot answer off. And we are done for this one. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I look forward to helping you with future questions. Check the channel out. We got physics and math videos with more subjects in the future. I hope you're all doing well. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.